एम लक्ष्मीकांत इंडियन पॉलिटी चैप्टर 77 प्रेशर ग्रुप्स मीनिंग एंड टेक्निक्स द टर्म प्रेशर ग्रुप ओरिजिनेटेड इन द यूएसए अ प्रेशर ग्रुप इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु आर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एक्टिवली फॉर प्रमोटिंग एंड डिफेंडिंग देयर कॉमन इंटरेस्ट इट इज सो कॉल्ड एज इट अटेम्प्ट्स टू ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन द पब्लिक पॉलिसी बाय एक्सर्टिंग प्रेशर ऑन द गवर्नमेंट it acts as a liaison between the government and its members the pressure groups are also called interest groups or vested groups they are different from the political parties in that they neither contest elections nor try to capture political power they are concerned with specific programs and issues and their activities are confined to the protection and promotion of the interests of their members by influencing the government the pressure groups influence the policy making and policy implementation in the government through legal and legitimate methods like lobbying correspondence publicity propagandizing petitioning public debating maintaining contacts with their legislators and so forth however sometimes they resort to illegitimate and illegal methods like strikes violent activities and corruption which damages public interest and administrative integrity according to odegard pressure groups resort to three different techniques in securing their purposes first they can try to place in public office persons who are favorably disposed towards the interests they seeks to promote this technique may be labeled electioneering second they can try to persuade public officers whether they are initially favorably disposed toward them or not to adopt and enforce the policies that they think will prove most beneficial to their interests this technique may be labeled lobbying third they can try to influence public opinion and thereby gain an indirect influence over government since the government in a democracy is substantially affected by public opinion this technique may be labeled propagandizing pressure groups in india a large number of pressure groups exist in india but they are not developed to the same extent as in the us or the western countries like britain france germany and so on The pressure groups in India can be broadly classified into the following categories: one, business groups. The business groups include a large number of industrial and commercial bodies. They are the most sophisticated, the most powerful, and the largest of all pressure groups in India. They include one, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry (FICI). major constituents are the indian merchants chamber of bombay indian merchants chamber of calcutta and south indian chamber of commerce of madras it broadly represents major industrial and trading interests two associated chamber of commerce and industry of india asocham major constituents are the bengal chamber of commerce of calcutta and central commercial organization of delhi Asocham represents foreign British capital. Three Federation of All India Food Grain Dealers Association (FAFDA). FAFDA is the sole representative of the grain dealers. Four All India Manufacturers Organisation (AIMO). AIMO raises the concerns of the medium-sized industry. Two Trade Unions. The trade unions voice the demands of the industrial workers. they are also known as labor groups a peculiar feature of trade unions in india is that they are associated either directly or indirectly with different political parties they include one all india trade union congress atak affiliated to cpi two indian national trade union congress intak affiliated to the congress three hind mazdoor sabha hms affiliated to the socialists four center of indian trade unions situ affiliated to the cpm five bhartiya mazdoor sangh bms affiliated to the bjp first trade union in india all india trade union congress atak was founded in 1920 with lala lajpat rai as its first president 
Up to 1945, congressmen, socialists and communists worked in the ATAC which was the Central Trade Union Organization of Workers of India. Subsequently, the trade union movement got split on political lines. 3. Agrarian Groups The agrarian groups represent the farmers and the agricultural labor class. They include 1. Bhartiya Kisan Union in the Wheat Belt of North India 2. All India Kisan Sabha, the oldest and the largest agrarian group 3. Revolutionary Peasants Convention organized by the CPM in 1967 which gave birth to the Naxalbari movement. 4. Bhartiya Kisan Sangh, Gujarat 5. R.V. Sangham, Tamil Nadu 6. Shetkari Sanghatna, Maharashtra 7. Hind Kisan Panchayat, controlled by the Socialists 8. All India Kisan Sammelan 9. United Kisan Sabha, controlled by the CPM 4. Professional Associations these are associations that raise the concerns and demands of doctors, lawyers, journalists and teachers. Despite various restrictions, these associations pressurize the government by various methods including agitations for the improvement of their service conditions. They include 1. Indian Medical Association, IMA 2. Bar Council of India, BCI 3. Indian Federation of Working Journalists IFWJ 4. All India Federation of University and College Teachers AFACT 5. Student Organizations Various unions have been formed to represent the student community. However, these unions, like the trade unions, are also affiliated to various political parties. These are I. Akhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad ABVP affiliated to BJP 2. All India Students Federation AISF, affiliated to CPI. 3. National Students Union of India, NSUI, affiliated to Congress. 4. Student Federation of India, SFI, affiliated to CPM. 6. Religious Organizations. The organizations based on religion have come to play an important role in Indian politics. They represent the narrow communal interest. They include I. Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, RSS 2. Vishwa Hindu Parishad, VHP 3. Jamati Islami 4. Ittehadul Musalmi V. Anglo-Indian Association 6. Associations of the Roman Catholics 7. All India Conference of Indian Christians 8. Parsi Central Association 9. Shiromni Akali Dal The Shiromni Akali Dal should be regarded as more of a religious pressure group rather than a political party in view of the fact that it has been concerned more with the mission of saving the Sikh community from being absorbed into the ocean of Hindu society than with fighting for the cause of a Sikh homeland. 7. Caste Groups Like religion, caste has been an important factor in Indian politics. The competitive politics in many states of the Indian Union is in fact the politics of caste rivalries, Brahman versus non-Brahman in Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, Rajput versus Jat in Rajasthan, Kamma versus Reddy in Andhra, Ahir versus Jat in Haryana, Baniya Brahman versus Patidar in Gujarat, Kayastha versus Rajput in Bihar, Nair vs. Ejava in Kerala and Lingayat vs. Okkaliga in Karnataka. Some of the caste-based organizations are 1. Nadar Caste Association in Tamil Nadu 2. Marwadi Association 3. Harijan Sevak Sangh 4. Kshatriya Mahasabha in Gujarat 5. Vanniyakul Kshatriya Sangam 6. Kayastha Sabha 8. Tribal Organizations The tribal organizations are active in MP, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal and the northeastern states of Assam, Manipur, Nagaland and so on. Their demands range from reforms to that of secession from India and some of them are involved in insurgency activities. The tribal organizations include I. National Socialist Council of Nagaland, NSCN 2. Tribal National Volunteers, TNU, in Tripura 3. People's Liberation Army in Manipur 4. All India Jharkhand V. Tribal Sangh of Assam 6. United Mizo Federal Organization 9. Linguistic Groups 
Language has been so important factor in Indian politics that it became the main basis for the reorganization of states. The language along with caste, religion and tribe have been responsible for the emergence of political parties as well as pressure groups. Some of the linguistic groups are 1. Tamil Sangh 2. Anjuman Taraki Ayurdu 3. Andhra Mahasabha 4. Hindi Sahitya Sammelan 5. Nagri Pracharani Sabha 6. Dakshina Bharat Hindi Prachar Sabha 10. Ideology-based groups In more recent times, the pressure groups are formed to pursue a particular ideology, i.e., a cause, a principle or a program. These groups include 1. Environmental protection groups like Narmada Bachao Andolan and Chipko Movement 2. Democratic Rights Organizations 3. Civil Liberties Associations 4. Gandhi Peace Foundation 5. Women Rights Organizations 11. Anomic Groups Almond and Powell observed by anomic pressure groups, we mean more or less a spontaneous breakthrough into the political system from the society such as riots, demonstrations, assassinations and the like. The Indian government and bureaucratic elite, overwhelmed by the problem of economic development and scarcity of resources available to them, inevitably acquires a technocratic and anti-political frame of mind particularistic demands of whatever kinds are denied legitimacy. As a consequence, interest groups are alienated from the political system. Some of the anomic pressure groups are 1. All India Sikh Students Federation 2. Nava Nirman Samithi of Gujarat 3. Naxalite Groups 4. Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, JKLF 5. All Assam Students' Union 6. United Liberation Front of Assam, ULFA 7. Dal Khalsa Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video help you in any way so please do like and share this video and hit the subscribe button.